In the event that the sample size is less than 30, we cannot assume that the sampling distribution is normal. As such, we cannot use Z-statistic to solve for the confidence interval. However, if the underlying distribution is normal, the student's t-statistic can be used. The student's t-distribution is an alternative to the z-distribution. It's used when the z-statistic is not appropriate to use. It's characteristically less peaked and has fatter tails than the normal distribution. The degree to which the distribution deviates from normal is defined by one single parameter, the degrees of freedom. The degrees of freedom for tests based on sample means are n minus 1. This is because, given the mean, only n minus 1 observations can be unique. The larger the degrees of freedom, the closer the t distribution approaches the normal distribution. It's important to note that the t-table is vastly different from the z-table. The focus for the z-table is that we already know the z-value, and we want to find the corresponding probability in the normal distribution. If we want to know the z-value given a probability, we have to reverse the process like we did in the last example. For the t-table, the focus is on finding the appropriate t-value to use for calculating confidence intervals and perform hypothesis testing. As such, the column headings are the probabilities at the tails. We look down the table to find the appropriate t-value based on the degrees of freedom. One of the things that candidates have difficulty with is to determine when to use the z-statistic and when to use the t-statistic. One easy way to remember is to ask these three questions. Is the population normally distributed? Is the population variance known? Is the sample size at least 30? First, ask yourself if the population is normal, or can it be assumed as normal? If it is, the sampling distribution can be assumed normal. All you need to know is whether the population variance is known. If it is, you can safely use the z-statistic. Otherwise, it's more conservative to use the t-statistic. If the population is not normal, or if you simply do not know, check if the sample size is at least 30. If it's less than 30, the problem cannot be solved as the central limit theorem cannot be applied. If it is at least 30, central limit theorem can be applied and we can determine whether to use the Z or T statistic based on whether the population variance is known. Let's apply these criteria in a couple of examples. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.